Danny Troyer's year-long frolic with freedom has come to an end. His antics against the Amish, his own community, have landed him behind bars. You will be serving 30 days. I have a feeling going to jail is going to have a pretty serious impact on him. He'll think twice before he tries to get in any further problem again. Perhaps, but even in jail, Danny remains a young man full of contradictions, sometimes defiant. If I do it again, I make sure nobody finds it out. Sometimes boastful to his cellmates. I tell them I'm in here for burning an Amish bucket. <laughs> they get a kick out of that. <laughs> it happened to be my uh, my uncle's bucket, and he he used to be an ass to you. But everybody in Ashland and just happened to be the right bookie. <laughs> and sometimes he's even spiritual. I believe in God, yeah. I'm sure he was watching over me, but probably thinks it's a punishment for me or whatever. After 30 days in the county jail last winter, Danny returns to the old greenhouse. Oddly, the ringtone on his cell phone now rings all too true. Hello? No shit. You, you learn a bunch of stuff in jail, man. Maybe I don't want to say it in front of the camera. I don't know. <laughs> Are you a troublemaker? If I'm a troublemaker? Are you? <laughs> I might be. You set a buggy on fire. Yeah. Why? Because we wanted something to do. What's going on with you? <laughs> We're just having fun, I guess. Well, are you, are you mad at somebody? No, I'm not mad or anything. But your idea of fun is, is not fun to them. I'd like a serious answer. I don't know. It seems Danny rebelled against the strict Amish code, only to discover that freedom carries its own rules and perils. It's a lesson each of our teens is learning, forcing them to look closer at the dreams they are chasing. The American dream, you know, to have a house, to have kids, a couple of cars. Yeah, that's... That's my dream. <laughs> How is it different than the Amish dream? Um, I guess they want a fast horse instead of a car. In a lot of ways, you know, it's the same. Not all of our teens will take the road back home, but those who do might be surprised at what they find there. The officers who arrested Danny, for instance, told us that the Amish may welcome him home. They did tell me as long as he went to the church and confessed what he did and apologized to the people that he did things to, that they would accept him back. Forgiveness is, after all, at the heart of being Amish. In the aftermath of the tragic killings last year at the Amish school in Pennsylvania, who did not stand in awe of their willingness to forgive the killer. We have to forgive, or if we don't, we're gonna become bitter people. Now you know the Lord's Prayer. Mm -hmm. If you don't forgive people, then God isn't gonna forgive you. Wrapped in a blanket of family and forgiveness, it's easy to understand why eight out of 10 Amish teens eventually return home. The elders we spoke to share a genuine sympathy for young people like Danny because every generation of Amish carries a memory of their own room spring. I'd get so homesick, I about got, you know, I got physically sick almost. I got terribly homesick. What were you missing? My parents and my brothers and sisters. Just their physical presence, just yeah. to be around yeah. them. Yeah. When we return, Lena, Harley, Nelson, and Dan make their choices. Who stays in the new world and who returns to the old ways? We'll be right back. They say to everything there is a season. And 
And so it is with the Amish teenagers we've followed for a year now. They've fallen in love and been sentenced to jail. They've partied and they've worked. And all along the way, they have been moving closer to the biggest decision of their lives. We begin with Harley. I'm glad I got a clear conscience now. I don't have to hide everything. I'm being myself. As much as he misses his 11 younger brothers and sisters, Harley's decided he's not going to join the Amish. But I don't believe that I have to be Amish to get to heaven. What do you have to be? It don't matter what kind of religion it, it is. It's just the way I look at it, it'll depend on how I live my life. As for his immediate future... I want to get a degree in computers. What would your mom and dad say about that? <laughs> You're lost. <laughs> lost is a good description for Lena. Can I ask you what you pray for? That my life gets better. Though deeply attached to her mother, Lena has seemed to grow further from her faith every day. What kinds of things does your mom say to you to, to make you want to stay, if anything? Well, she wants me to stay at home. She just doesn't want me to leave the Amish. That's 